What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to the final match review of Chelsea's 2019-2020 season. It is Bayern Munich, what is it, 4 Chelsea 1? 7-1 on aggregate, I mean, granted it's not as embarrassing as the Spurs aggregate scores or the Arsenal aggregate scores, but London's taken a piping by Bayern Munich and we're going to discuss this second leg. We're going to discuss both legs and we're going to discuss the entire season as a whole because this is now the end of Chelsea's 19-20 season. But before I start this video, I just want to say, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Don't forget to smash the bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever I upload any new content and also smash that subscribe button as well because after the last two games I am finished with anything red just get rid of it I don't want to see it on my channel I don't want to see nothing like that nothing of that color so please if you haven't done so already smash that subscribe button and let's head straight into this video FC Bayern 4 Chelsea 1 and we knew it was going to be an uphill battle from the start we were going in with countless injuries count Jorginho and Alonso suspended as well. Uh, we had to bring up Lewis Bate and a couple of other young players as well as potential youth depth and it looked like it was going to be a huge back to the walls performance where we would either go down swinging, we would get piped or we would produce the unthinkable. And I was sitting there, if you lot saw me on the watch along, trying to be as optimistic as I possibly could be because let's be real, in a situation like this, you can't be too negative, you can't be too depressed about it. You really just got to face it, face it up head on and whatever happens, just happens. Seven minutes in, penalty. Straight up. And as soon as that happened, it was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe this remontade isn't happening. Christensen lets Lewandowski go through too quickly, in my opinion. And... Just got taken down for the penalty. Let's be real. It wasn't Willy Caballero's fault. One on one. He did the best that he could do. If people were saying his thumb got to the ball first or something like that. I don't even want to dispute something like that. Because it's a it's a matter of centimetres. And to be honest. 1v1 it looked more like a penalty than it looked like a foul. Or going the other way. So it just is what it is. Credit to Willy. He went the right way for the penalty save. But... Lewandowski is Lewandowski and I think Lewandowski has had a hand in every single goal in this tie if he wasn't already having enough of a serious impact. A guy literally involved, I think he had two goals and two assists in this game and was he involved in every goal in the first tie as well? Someone let me know down in the comment section if he was but I think he's been involved in every single tie of the last two games between the both of us. It went to 2-0, I think Kovacic just got dispossessed. It looked like it was a foul in the build-up, but VAR didn't call it, so I'm going to think it was a foul. Usually UEFA has VAR much more on point than anyone in England has ever looked like it did, but I'll be real, when I saw it the first time round, I thought it was Anthony Taylor in the VAR room again, because that just looked like BS to me. But it looks like he just got dispossessed and Bayern scored off the counter-attack. You know how quick they are they are and whenever they're put in a random situation they usually have the awareness to know the options around them and know what the best decision for them is at that point and they played it well under pressure and they made it 2-0 and at that point if it didn't look like it was tie over already it was tie over but a little bit of hope for the Chelsea fans which got taken away first off with VAR Callum hudson Doy with an amazing finish into the back of the net it was something that we wanted to see more of if you saw my five reasons why Chelsea will beat Bayern Munich because we all know that's obsolete now I said hudson Doy was one of the main reasons why we had hope because he was one of those players who was looking at much tougher competition next season compared to this season and with all of his injuries he struggled to have enough of an impact on the Chelsea squad and I thought that was good for his confidence I didn't think he had a bad performance today it was just unlucky that one got called out for offside as well. I think Tammy Abraham had a foot offside. I don't know if he was fully involved in the build-up or not, but he was ruled out for offside. The goal doesn't dis the goal just wasn't allowed. Tammy Abraham righted his wrong though on the stroke of half time. Nice delivery from Emerson, palmed out by Neuer, straight into the feet of Tammy Abraham for the two-yard screamer. And all you can really say is that Tammy Abraham was in the right position at the right time. Sec we go into half time. 2-1 down, I think at this point it is 5-1 on aggregate and we just need four goals, four goals only and we may have a chance of coming back and no, 
No, we tried second half, but I will say for Bayern Munich, who was a team that was a lot less fit than us, a team that hadn't played in a month before they played against us, game management looked a lot better. And as soon as they got that early first goal, they looked to slow down the game in whatever periods that they could do it in. A lot of passes around the back, a lot of slow build-up plays, setting the tempo for themselves. And just slowing down the game and giving them full control of the game as well. And it's... The game was just too far away from us. We had enough We had enough of a hill to climb before they got the goal in the seventh minute. So it was going to be a struggle for us anyway. The next two goals that came in, just poor defensive setup again. I was, I'm tempted to say Emerson's to blame for both of them. He was decent on the ball today. I don't want to discredit him too much, but defensively, he looked average again. And he looks like he's just going to be on the way out. Third goal, Taliso left completely unmarked. And he was ball watching. Fourth goal, I don't know if he was meant to be marking Lewandowski in the back post, but he ends up in a two-on-one situation with two different Bayern players, and he's in two different minds. I don't even know whether to fully blame him or to blame the setup for that one, but it's been a key factor for us. Defensively, we've just been too poor, and it's been what's cost us in so many occasions for us this season. <clears throat> the only positive that I will say, though, is that the season is over, as annoyed as we will be at where our potentials let us down this season i think at the start of the season we knew that most of us didn't even think we were going to make top four a lot of people had us written off we've made top four we made a decent name for ourselves in the champions league grant so we got knocked out of the last 16 again but this is the least experienced side in the roman abrambic era so we gotta try and be a bit too a bit calmer about it don't be too straightforward and just think because we're Chelsea we should be getting these trophies we're transitioning as a club and Frank Lampard is progressing us on an upward trajectory there's still areas that need to be sorted out within the squad but they will come they will come and it all depends on the signings for us I think we got a huge slap back to reality for where we stand in the areas of Europe's elite but it all depends on how we redesign ourselves for next season i think that's the best way to describe i'm gonna go quickly through the player ratings for end this video uh we'll start in goal with willy caballero don't really think he could have done much wrong for any of the goals Nah, i don't think he could have i think the third goal he might he could have got a better hand to it but other than that i don't really blame him for anything the whole time I've had, I've seen Caballero in goal, it's just not really sta staple to me why he should start over Kepa. It's only been like, how's Kepa's confidence going? How's Kepa's form doing? If, does he look like he's confident? If not, throw Willy. And if he doesn't, he throw Kepa in. But it is what it is. Caballero, I'll get a five. Five, I think. Reese James applied himself, had a lot of effort, but... He struggled as well, so I'll give him a six only because we know what the we we know how up how big of an uphill battle this game was, so I'll give him a six. Christensen looked off the pace for a lot of the game to be honest. I'll give him a four. Kurt Zuma prone to the odd collapse, odd mind farts, but other than that, I thought he was the better defender out of the two, so we'll get a five. Um Emerson, good on the ball, good setup for the first goal, that was it really, defensively I thought he was still poor, so I'm going to give him a 4, uh, maybe I'll push to a 5, now. Nah, 4, 4 will go 4, Kovacic, these saw the ball but didn't really apply himself as much as I thought he would, I'm going to give him a 5, Kante thought he was decent but he did struggle with the press in the midfield so he'll get a 5 as well. Ross Barkley carried the ball forward pretty well, but mm, I didn't really see much from him in terms of end product either. I might give him a five as well. I don't, mm, yeah, no. Four and a half. We'll go four and a half. I don't even usually do half reigns, but I'll give him four and a half. Mason Mount, I thought he was progressive, but again, we struggled really for end product. We did, I will say it's mostly due to buy and set up as well. They were going in as a comfortable, comfortable leaders on aggregate, and the game was always going in their favour. So it was going to be a hard game for him. There's a lot of fives here today, I'll be real. He's getting another five. Hudson Doyle, I thought, was promising. Petered out a little bit more towards the second half. Unlucky that the first goal didn't count. He, I thought he took it very well. Sorry. But other than that, promising performance. I'll give him a six. Tammy Abraham. 
Bar the goal, I didn't really think he was all there. Link up play was decent at times. Sometimes uh, he's got the ball too. He got the ball out of his feet too slowly. He was struggling a bit. Need to see him jump up for those 50-50s a lot more as well. It looks like a very lazy part of his game that he has to improve on. But I'm gonna give Tammy Abraham a five at least, only because of the goal. Because I don't, I'm not sure if he played that well. But that uh, was there any substitutes that he saw a decent impact on the game. Did we only have one substitute? I think we only had one substitute. Was it just Olivier Giroud? I think it, I'm not even giving Giroud a rating because he wasn't on the pitch long enough. But yeah, that's the end of the player ratings. I'm not going to be too negative about it because we finished top four and I think it's a progressive season for us. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. And I will do a five reasons why video for you guys tomorrow. Check that out. Up the Chelsea.